Hey guys, how's it going? This is Jason from Veteran Custom Warworks, and today my first YouTube video is going to be on making epoxy ammo casing coasters, not on flags. So sit back, enjoy, hit that view, smash that like button. I appreciate it. Give me a follow. And what you want to do is stir this for about three and a half minutes of your one to one ratio of resin and hardener. Okay, once you've got that mixed, it's still going to be a little cloudy, but you pour it in, set the base, and then use a heat gun to pop the bubbles, and then you can insert the ammo casings or bottle caps or whatever you want to do. So now once you lay the base, you just got to kind of spread it out a little bit. I'm using a plastic knife because I ran out of my stirring sticks. But spread it out so it hits the ends and then you're going to heat gun over it. So this is all up. This will all level out. And you just spread it, spread it around. Spread it around until it hits there. And like I said, we'll use a heat gun to get these bubbles out in a second. So I'm going to finish up doing that and then we we'll get some bubbles so we just use it really quick and get rid of the bubbles. So now you can put the casings in. Like you see here, I've already got a couple that I've already done. I'm just waiting uh, to coat them with the color. See the part of the rock there that they're in. So you just throw these in there however you want them. Put them in there. And then let them dry a few hours before you start your color. Now if you want to put some bottle caps in, just turn around and push them in there. So like this. Or drop it. Just like that and keep going. So now this is four parts hardener, four parts resin. We're gonna add some black diamond battleship gray. And we're gonna mix this for another three and a half minutes. See that color coming in now? See that? Pretty good. So mix that for three and a half minutes. Now you just want to pour the epoxy over so you cover everything. And 
and some of this is gonna settle. You're gonna have to come back over it later maybe with uh, some clear just to finish it off. You'll get some bubbles here and there for up to 30 minutes an hour. Just use the heat gun to pop off. the video hope you liked it uh, again like comment share the video all the links uh, for all the products I use are down in the comments section so thank you very much and feel free to reach out for any questions thanks bye